Well, thank you guys for tuning in to Chicago Prayer and Hope, where we pray for you all because we believe in the power of prayer because of praying to the true and the living God of the universe who hear the prayers and who answer them all in His own perfect timing because His timing is perfect and His timing will always be perfect. Amen. Amen. And also, will we share the good news of Jesus Christ right out of this true and active living Word of God, <clears throat> which brings a free gift of salvation to you all if you believe by faith alone and if you repent of your sins and if you do all that, it offers you the best gift of all which you can ever receive, which is eternal life of Jesus Christ forever in His presence when you die. Friends, praise God for the free gift of salvation. Give Him praise. Praise God for eternal life, friends. We have eternal life. What a great gift that is. The best gift of all of Jesus one day. Friends, today we got a good topic. We're going to be talking about how the Spirit who raised Jesus, how we have that same Spirit and we have hope because of that. We're going to be in Romans 8, verse 11. So if you have your Bibles, I encourage you to go grab them, fill up along to that passage of us, or turn on your Bibles, and if you flip them there, the, I will open up, up in a brief order prayer before we begin. Let's pray in our Son of our Son, Jesus, who is here in with us. Let's pray. <clears throat> God, we believe that you're here with us. We believe that you're moving, God. God, will you speak to us now by this passage? Transform our hearts. Transform our minds to become more like you, God. More like your son, Jesus. God, we love you. Would you help us love you more? Amen. You guys ready? <coughs> it says, And if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies because of his spirit who lives in you. Come on, friends. We're not going to read it a second time. Why? Because I want to break it down and talk to you guys about this. I don't want to waste time reading because it's kind of some, of some difficult words, maybe for a new believer or who's new to the faith or who's about to come to faith today because we're going to give you an invitation to come back to Christ and to receive Christ today at the end of this video. So I just want to break it down and go verse by verse. So we're going to start, off, start it out from the beginning. How does it start out? It says, And if the Spirit of Him, who's Him? God, Jesus. The Spirit of Him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you. So we have the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead living in you. It's saying, and if, and if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, what? So we're saying we have the spirit of that raised Jesus from the dead living in us. He who raised Christ from the dead, what? What does it say next to you who raised Christ from the dead? What will also give life to your mortal bodies because his spirit who lives in you. Come on, friends, what does this mean? His spirit who lives in you. So what does it mean he will give life? He will also, just like how Christ had life when he rose from the dead, we also will have life because he from the dead will give you he who raised Christ from the dead will also give you life to your mortal bodies, to our mortal bodies, because what? Because of his spirit living in us. Friends, his spirit living in us changes everything. So what's my encouragement? What's my challenge for you today as we get ready to land the plane and send things home here? My encouragement, my challenge, is that we would never take for granted his spirit living in us. His spirit has power to change our hearts, change our minds, change our circumstances, change our attitudes. His spirit changes everything. Friends, even though we can't see Jesus face to face right now, if you are a brand new Christian, a born again Christian, if you are a believer in Jesus Christ, me and you have the Holy Spirit. And anyone can receive the Holy Spirit today. It's simply by praying a simple prayer of faith. And we're going to move into that prayer in just a second. But today, my prayer is that you would, wouldn't take for granted His Spirit. His Spirit is with you wherever you go. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. You better believe it. There is freedom. In Jesus' name, call upon His name. I know it might not be easy, but He's with you, and He will help you. He won't have you go about this alone. 
Amen? Amen. Well, I want to give you this opportunity right now to receive the best gift of all. We do this after the end of every video that we make because we believe that this is the most important decision that one can ever truly make with his life or that one has already made with his life. So if you want to make make this decision right now to receive Christ today for the first time or come back to Christ, this is your moment to do so. Please repeat these words from the Psalms of your own heart. Huh? Father God, I confess I'm a sinner. I confess my need for you, Lord. I cannot do this life of value, Lord. You're the only hope I have, Father God. So I repent of all my sins, and I turn to you, and I accept you as my Savior. Amen. Well, if you just pray this prayer today for the first time with us, recommitted your life to Christ today, then I want to welcome you in the family of God, welcome you back in the family of God. The scripture says, when one walks in the family of God, or when one walks back in, heaven rejoices, and I rejoice, actually, we rejoice along with you as well. We've also been praying for this very moment because this is truly one of the most important decisions that one can never make with life or that one has already made with life. If you're placing the faith in Jesus Christ alone and accepting the free gift of salvation that he offers you and that he offers me, so I want to welcome you in the family of God or welcome you back. If you just made this decision today for the first time with us or recommitted your life to Christ today, I encourage you to reach out to me or to one of our team members because we want to be praying for you. We truly want to be praying for you. We don't want to mock you at all. We don't want to push you. That's the last thing that we want to do. All we just want to do is walk alongside you, be praying for you first and foremost, then give you the next steps and next resources to take. But first and foremost, we want to be praying for your friends. We truly, truly, truly believe in the power of prayer. Friends, allow us to pray for you in whatever way we can. We want to. We desperately want to. We care about you. So allow us to, then we, we'll give you the next steps. Well, friends, do you mind if I bless you all today before I send you all on your way into a new day, a new week, a new whatever? Would you put your hand up to receive the blessing of Jesus? May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. And may you truly never forget that the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you. He who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies. How many of you want life? You can. His spirit lives in you. You can. So welcome, if you came into the family of God today, you have the Spirit. So lean into the Spirit. Don't take advantage of Him. Friends, if you guys were blessed by this video and you guys feel like someone else used to be blessed by it as well, would you please give me a favor? Click on that share button and share this hope with someone. Share this good news with someone. If you guys just need prayer for your life or hope, please never hesitate to reach out to me. Reach out to one of our team members. We are here for you. We are for you. And, and until next time, keep Christ in one and have a very blessed day. God bless you all. Much love. Peace.